At number 10, I was happier when I was poor, Akon insists. Akon has defended himself after he received backlash for suggesting that poor people have much easier lives than the rich and famous. After the death of his friend Michael K. Williams, Akon told TMZ that the actor's death proves the rich and famous struggle more than the poor. In a more recent interview with TMZ, he addressed the criticisms he received for a statement that more money equals more problems. Akon said, and I quote, It's not really more so a walk back, but what I do want to express is that sometimes when comments like that are made, I always speak according to what I'm personally going through myself. Nobody can sit there and tell me I didn't go through poverty. I'm having more problems successfully dealing with all that comes with success than I had when I was poor. I was actually happier when I was poor. End of quote. At number 9, on air personality, Dotun cautions Daddy Freeze overtaking sides in the drama between Brimo and Two Face. Media personality Dotun has accused his colleague Daddy Freeze of taking sides after the latter reacted to the drama between Brimo and Two Baba. Brimo had gone on Twitter to allege that Two Baba falsely accused him of sleeping with his wife and then organized thugs to beat him up. Reacting, Freeze told Brimo that he is wrong. He added that the timing is wrong too because Two Face and his wife Annie Dibia have recently gone through a lot. Dotun commented on Daddy Freeze's post, telling him that he is taking sides without hearing from both sides. Freeze reacted to Dotto's comment with a thumbs up emoji. At number 8, Facebook admits its engineers made a mistake that caused 7 hour outage and not hackers. Facebook has shut down claims of malicious activity behind a 7 hour blackout that cost the company an estimated $100 million in lost revenue. Configuration changes on the backbone routers that coordinate network traffic between our data centers caused issues that interrupted this communication. This disruption to network traffic had a cascading effect on the way our data centers communicate, bringing our services to a halt. Facebook Vice President of Infrastructure Santosh Janaden wrote in a post, The underlying cause of this outage also impacted many of the internal tools and systems we use in our day-to-day -day operations, complicating our attempts to quickly diagnose and resolve the problem, Janaden added. Facebook said it had no evidence that user data was compromised as a result of this downtime. Number 7. When it comes to being decent, I'm on top 10, says Moyo Lawal. Actress Moyo Lawal has debunked allegations of a lifestyle being bankrolled by a politician. In a video she shared on Instagram, the actress noted that sex is the last thing one can use to shut her up and she was sacrificed a lot for anyone to do that. Reiterating that she is more decent and has self-control than most regular girls and even some married women, Moyo also added that she has had years where she abstained from sex completely. Stressing that she is single and at liberty to do anything, she however told those making such claims to stick to the truth. Number 6. Tega Dominic deactivates IG handle. Reality TV star Tega Dominic has deactivated her Instagram account. This comes hours after she took to her Twitter handle to express her frustration over everything she has been subjected to since exiting the reality show. Tega, who is a married woman, was dragged by Nigerian for having an affair with Boma during her stay in the house. In her tweet, Tega said she was done with being judged constantly by people and online bullying. Number 5. NCC bans Nigerians under 18 years from obtaining SIM cards. The Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has banned citizens below 18 years from registering and owning a SIM card in Nigeria. This was contained in a draft copy of the Modified Registration of Telephone Subscribers Regulations published on the Commission's website recently. In the Modified Regulations, NCC required telcos operators to only include anyone above the age of 18. According to a report, during a public inquiry, which was held physically and virtually, key stakeholders asked the Commission to revise the age limit. The NCC however insisted on 18 years and above for anyone who wants to own and register a SIM in Nigeria. At number 4, Jocker Silva reacts to reports that her husband, Olu Jacobs, is dead. Virgin Hollywood actress Jocker Silva has debunked rumors of the death of her husband, Olu Jacobs. Recently, rumors have been making rounds on social media claiming that the ace Hollywood actor, Olu Jacobs, has passed on. However, speaking in an interview, Jocker Silva said her husband is healing hearty and advised that the rumor mongers be ignored totally. Number 3. Crossdresser James Brown reacts to allegations of stealing at a club. Crossdresser James Brown has reacted accordingly after he and his friend Toby the Creator were accused of stealing from a lady at a club on Monday night. In a video that went viral on social media, the man could be seen beckoning on James Brown, Toby the Creator, and his cliques to return the money they stole from the club. However, reacting to this claim, James Brown in the video stated that he can't stoop so low to reply the man whom he described as a commoner who is basically chasing clouds on social media. James Brown urged his fans to disregard the video. At number 2, Olu of Wari disrobes Ayiri Mami as Olubushere of Wari Kingdom. The Olu of Wari, His Majesty Ogiame Etuase III, has officially announced the disrobing of Chief Ayiri Emami as Olubushere, traditional Prime Minister of Wari Kingdom. The monarch disclosed this during a meeting reportedly with descendants of the Olubushere family at his palace in Wari South Council of Area of Delta State. The monarch reportedly instructed the people of Ishekiri Nation, especially the Olubushere family, to henceforth cease addressing the embattled chief as Olubushere. A video making the rounds on social media showed the 
Bia Tua shared third, seated on his throne, while Chief Brown Mene addressed the Lubushere family in Ishekiri language. Amami, who was vehemently opposed to the coronation of the new Olovori, failed to appear for the revalidation and confirmation exercise of Chiefs of the Kingdom in September. At number one, the federal government approved 75,000 naira stipend to be paid per semester to education students in tertiary institutions. The federal government has approved the sum of 75,000 naira to be paid per semester to undergraduates studying education in public universities in Nigeria. Also, as part of the government's deliberate efforts to attract the best brains in the teaching profession, Nigeria's Certificate in Education NCE students will receive 50,000 naira as stipends per semester, as promised by President Mahmoud Buhari. Malama Damu, the Minister of Education, made the announcement on Tuesday, October 5th, at the World Teachers' Day celebration in the Eagle Square. And that's it on Daily Top 10. For more entertainment stories, follow us on all social media platforms, Nigeria Extreme on Instagram and Nigeria TV on Facebook. Our YouTube channel is Nigeria TV. Hit the subscribe button and smash a like on this video.